So how do you tell people you're on the carnivore diet? How do you deal with the carnivore diet in social situations? And I'm gonna give you guys my anecdotes and then kind of what I would do depending on your situation. So fortunately, my family is very understanding of my food allergies and I've actually helped my sister lose 60 pounds on this diet. And after they saw how I reacted and always used to have terrible acne to other diets, when I started eating these foods, and then when they saw me try to eat other foods outside of the carnivore diet, they saw how I always had these digestive issues. So my particular problem with the allergies and food intolerances pertaining to my family is not really an issue. When I do go out, uh, I mean, it's difficult. I, I usually just do say I have allergies, and that is somewhat truthful because if I do order dishes and there's even like a semblance of vegetable oil or something inflammatory in it that I don't normally eat, especially dairy, I will break out and get bad cystic acne. And even more so lately, I've noticed that I have a histamine intolerance. So in regards to social eating, I do explain that to people. But that being said, generally I order, you know, carpaccio dishes, tartars. Uh, you know, if there's like cognac and egg yolk and some shallots and a steak tartare, maybe I'll deal with one or two zits I'll get the next day. In the case of like steak or protein dishes, I generally just try to, you know, whatever I order, I focus on just eating the protein. I try to get, you know, as I said, those raw meat preparations. Uh, I try to get, ideally, sashimi would be the perfect thing to do without the soy sauce, of course. Uh, and unfortunately, most restaurants that people go out to aren't like me in New York City where every place is like trying to achieve culinary excellence. So. If we're talking about like chain restaurants and things like that where carbohydrates are much more persistent, every meat item tends to be breaded or have certain problems, then you know we kind of look at the thing of you kind of have to explain to people, oh, I want grilled chicken, I'm on a diet. That's, that's where it gets iffy. And in regards to the alcohol thing, if someone does take me out, I would have you know a glass of wine or two, whatever, something minimally inflammatory as possible. Ideally natural wine. If not, I explore what other options I have. In the case of beer, cider, things like that. The problem with beer is it has the wheat, it's super inflammatory, so ideally you would just get cider or, I don't know, mead, something without that wheat and that grain aspect to it. Uh, I mean, I've noticed that the main problem with going off of the carnivore diet and dealing with it in social situations isn't necessarily that you don't want to, it's that if you do, the consequences are much greater than as if you were on another diet. You pretty much have to be consuming these foods on nearly a weekly basis to not have any problems with it. So, uh, I mean, I guess my scenario doesn't really help a lot of you guys because my family is very understanding of my allergies and I don't really go out to an incredible amount of places and when I do go out it tends to be those places where I have plenty of options. So I guess to touch on the case of your family, your friends, I wouldn't even tell people. I would just, if they really insist on asking you about your diet, then I would say, oh, I've, I've do, I'm doing an elimination diet, I have a lot of allergies, this is what works for me. And I wouldn't even go to the meat aspect, I would just say, oh, I eat, I'm eating a lot more fish now, I'm just reducing my grain and vegetable intake. Uh, that's what I would go with. I would try to be as lackadaisical as possible and I would try to emphasize, I'm trying to eat like nutrient dense animal foods, I'm trying to eat like wild caught fish, pastured eggs, you know, almost like a paleo-esque thing where you're like supporting local farmers, and eating a lot of local seafood, local meats, whatever it may be. And I guess to touch on, uh, if you're in a situation where you have to tell your family and explain them, I guess you kind of have to go with that. The elimination thing, uh, the allergies, and if people ask what allergies you have, you simply say, I have a corn, like you could say soy, gluten, allium, dairy. You could say you have mild intolerances to all these foods and you feel better not eating them. Uh, I don't and if people don't really understand that or, or think you're crazy for trying it and, and then you just say, well, I have all these allergies, this is all I could eat. I think that frames it much differently than other people. Uh, so if, and what you could also do is you could approach it from if you really want to try to convince people on the diet and sell the diet, you could sell it as, you know, that standpoint of you're removing inflammation by excluding plant foods and you're increasing nutrient density by consuming high quality animal foods. It can't just be, oh, I eat ribeye all day and I feel great because that is not going to convince anyone really. I mean, it convinces some people, but it's not, not from a good perspective. And uh, I mean, if people actually ask me like, guys, I've 
I went out once, like in a year, for my birthday. And on my birthday, I had uh, one glass of white wine, and I just had some. I just had some meat dishes. I had some dry aged steak. I had. Uh, I don't. I don't remember. But I had like veal carpaccio. I had some tartare. I just. I stuck with the meat dishes. I've never cheated on this diet, and in the context of what most people do, especially considering. If I have a severe dairy allergy, like there's no joking about that, I'm, and then all my other allergies, it's more of an intolerance and I just break out and get bad cystic acne. Uh, and then the histamine thing is something I've run into recently, uh, which I won't go into, but if you have a histamine intolerance, that is probably, if you tell people that and they understand what that is, it is the most like limiting allergy you could have. And a histamine intolerance is pretty much any aged food you can't eat, and that's unfortunately like 95% of the food you eat is either doesn't have enough calories to sustain yourself or it will cause a histamine reaction. So you either have to get super fresh meat or, uh, and that, that means avoiding anything aged from spirits to wine to cheese to, it's just a histamine intolerance is another great excuse. And uh, whether you use these as excuses or these are actually things you've noticed and things you're intolerant to, uh, hopefully this can help you deal with these zero carb diet and social situations. And if, hey, if you're one of those people who just, you know, you eat bacon, you have processed cheese from McDonald's, you have beer once a week, that's fine. If that works for you and that you're happy and you have energy levels, that's great. Uh, but I guess what's a little bit contradictory is some people still drink coffee, but that's a whole different discussion entirely. So hopefully this video has helped you guys, kind of giving you my perspective and what I do. I kind of just go with the best possible scenario at what I could eat at certain places. And, uh, you know, if you guys would like to support me, hey, share the video. Uh, if you'd like to, uh, you know, check out the links in the description to my various social medias and other things. Um, but that's it, guys. Let me know if I missed anything. Uh, I don't think I did. 